2024 Jeep Wrangler First Look Review, the Screen Age Off-Roader. There are some vehicles that are just instantly recognizable, and among the likes of the super low Lamborghinis, curvaceous Porsches and even imposing Escalades, the Jeep Wrangler is impossible to miss. With the latest facelift, revealed at the New York Auto Show, the 2024 Jeep Wrangler's status as the quintessential off-roader is elevated even more without it losing that familiar face. The refresh didn't just focus on an aesthetic makeover, however, and together with more standard features and a much nicer interior, the 2024 Wrangler lineup boasts improved safety, with a higher airbag count, improved seatbelt pretensioners and load limiters, and structural enhancements for better side impact protection. Is this the best Wrangler yet? Well, there has to be a reason why the Wrangler models hold their value so well and why the brand has sold almost 5 million Wranglers across the globe, and with this refresh, this isn't likely to slow down. 2024 Jeep Wrangler Models Sport 3.6 LV6 Gas 6-Speed Manual 4-Wheel Drive TBC when is the 2024 Jeep Wrangler coming out? With order books already open, the release date for the Jeep Wrangler is close, deliveries to dealerships in the USA are expected later in 2023. 2024 Jeep Wrangler Price and Competition Despite sharing a myriad of other details about the new Jeep Wrangler, the automaker hasn't confirmed what it will cost. Based on the substantial updates, however, we estimate the price of the 2024 Jeep Wrangler lineup to start around $34,000 for the cheapest two-door sport model. Four-door variants will naturally add between $3,500 and $4,000 to the total price. We know the lineup will include the Sport, Willis, Sahara, High Altitude, Rubicon, Rubicon X, and Rubicon 392 modes with the top end 392 likely to have an MSRP in the region of $85,000. The Wrangler's main rival currently is the Ford Bronco, which starts at $34,595 for the 2023 two-door base models, with the Elite Raptor version priced at close to $80,000. The Blue Oval's offering has been accused of mimicry in the past, the Wrangler's new look should ensure it's not mistaken for anything but the legendary Jeep it is. New Jeep Wrangler Exterior and Colors Tweaking the exterior of something as recognizable as a Jeep Wrangler could be risky, so the manufacturer has played to its strengths and kept it familiar. That's not to say it's not fresh, and the seven-slot grille is redesigned, featuring black textured slots, neutral grey metallic bezels, and body color surrounds. Willis and high-altitude models get gloss black accents, while the Sahara gets platinum silver. The grille itself is slimmer than before without diminishing its function to improve cooling. The smaller size also makes it easier for the optional worn winch to be installed. The iconic round headlights make the Wrangler appear more human than ever before. A stealth antenna is integrated into the windshield to ensure it doesn't catch on anything out in the wild, and like before, there are multiple ways that you can experience the wind in your hair, including a sky one-touch power top. Other options include the standard premium soft top, black, or body colored hard tops, and the Sun Rider for hard top. There are also numerous door, roof, and windshield configurations to choose from. All models get two front tow hooks and one in the rear, along with four skid plates. Wheel sizes range from 17 inches on the Rubicon to 20 inch items on the high altitude. There are 10 new wheel designs for 2024 and the minimum tire size across the range is 32 inches. Off-road focused models get 33 or 35 inch tires, depending on the trim. Rubicon 392 models are set apart by a functional hood scoop, and these models, together with Willis trims, get tubular steel rock rails for added protection. Speaking of which, the Willis model comes with larger tires, higher ground clearance, and overt fender flares. The new Rubicon X model has 35-inch tires and steel bumpers. As far as exterior colors for the Jeep Wrangler go, there's one new shade called Anvil, while the rest of the palette is comprised of Earl, Firecracker Red, Granite Crystal, Silver Zenith, High Velocity, Hydro Blue, Sarge, 
bright white, and regular black. Jeep Wrangler Dimensions Dimensions for the latest Jeep Wrangler are similar to the outgoing model, including a wheelbase of just 96.8 inches on two-door models, while the four-door versions have a 118.4-inch wheelbase. Two-door models are 166.8 inches in length, while the four-door stretches to 188.4 inches. Models with the Extreme 35 package added are even longer at 192.5 inches. Width across the range is 73.9 inches, with an extra 5.4 inches added if you specify the Extreme 35 package. The new Jeep Wrangler SUV stands 73.6 inches in height, and those with the equipment from the Extreme 35 package are 75.5 inches tall. Curb weight can be as low as 4,012 pounds for the 3.6-liter two-door model with the manual gearbox, but the heftiest models, four-door Rubicons with the 6.4-liter V8, will tip the scales at 5,268 pounds. Ground clearance ranges between 9.7 inches and 12.9 inches, with the off-road specialist trims getting the most room between the underbody and the ground. Approach and departure angles vary too with minimum figures of 41.4 degrees and 35.9 degrees, respectively, while the hardcore off-roaders can manage 47.4 degrees and 40.4 degrees for approach and departure. The ramp angle on standard four-door models is 20.3 degrees but improves to 27.8 degrees on two-door Rubicon models. Jeep Wrangler Engine and Performance Across the 2024 Wrangler lineup, Buyers have a choice between four powertrains, including the best-selling plug-in hybrid in the USA in the form of the Wrangler 4XE, which we review separately. Feeding into the idea that Jeep owners need to choose what suits them best, the automaker provides a choice for gas models, starting with the 3.6-liter Pentasta V6 with 285 HP and 260 lbft of torque, this V6 is standard on the base sport trim. The next available engine for the Jeep Wrangler is a 2.0-liter turbocharged i4 engine that makes 270 horsepower and 295 lbft of torque. For the most impressive specs, however, there is a 6.4-liter V8 that makes 470 HP and 470 lbft. While the four-cylinder and V8 are mated to an eight-speed automatic, the V6 is available with both an automatic and a six-speed manual. While all options do well both on and off-road, it's the powerful V8 that takes the cake. With 75% of its torque available from just above idle speed, it can send the Jeep Wrangler from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds, which is much faster than this SUV has any real need to go. With standard four-wheel drive, all models in the lineup are trail-rated and come with Dana solid front and rear axles, traction control, four-wheel disc brakes, and skid plates to ensure regular adventuring off-road. With four advanced 4x4 systems, including Command Track, Rock Track, Part-Time and Full-Time, and Select Track, a water fording capacity of up to 34 inches, and an available 100 colon 1 crow ratio, their Wrangler can pretty much go anywhere. Of course, the Rubicon models are the ones to choose if you are buying to get away from the city and they come equipped with an electronic front sway bar disconnect, front and rear axle lockers, and 33-inch BF Goodrich all-terrain rubber. The big news for 2024 is that Rubicon models now come with a full float Dana rear axle to make it easier to upsize tires. A worn winch can also be specified with up to 8,000 pounds load capacity. As if that wasn't badass enough, Rubicons can still tow up to 5,000 pounds too when properly equipped. There's also a new Rubicon X model for 2024, which is a little more premium than the base Rubicon, and it includes a full-time rock track transfer case, steel bumpers, and the Xtreme 35 package with beadlock capable wheels and 35-inch BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. Gas mileage Although the various models are a tad heavier than before, there hasn't been any change to the engine lineup for 2024 so we expect fuel economy figures to be similar to the outgoing model. Jeep notes that the Wrangler has fuel saver technology with cylinder deactivation which kicks it into four-cylinder mode under light load to try to improve efficiency. 
Regardless, we expect MPG figures for the 2024 Jeep Wrangler to look as follows. Four-cylinder models should manage best figures of 22-24-23 MPG on city-slash-highway-slash-combined cycles, while the Pentasta V6 options will get either 20-24-21 MPG with the automatic or 17-25-20 MPG with the manual. The four-door variants are heavier and slightly thirstier, while the V8-powered models will be thirstier still with 13-17-14 MPG listed by the EPA. Frugality is best with the 4XE models. Range will depend on the model you choose, two-door models have a 17.5-gallon fuel tank, and four-door versions can fill up to 21.5 gallons. Jeep Wrangler Interior and Cargo The interior of the Jeep Wrangler also got some TLC for 2024 and it's now more refined and premium than ever while upholding the ethos of functionality and versatility. There's added equipment for the new year, which varies from trim to trim, but the biggest change is the updated dash design with new slim air vents in the center stack, and an all-new instrument panel. It's wrapped in soft-touch materials, from polyurethane to fabric, depending on trim, with contrast stitching and features a best-in-class 12.3-inch touchscreen. Housed on the large new display is the Yukon Nect 5 operating system, which the automaker claims is faster than ever before with ODA capability. It comes with standard wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, better hands-free voice recognition, and home screen customization to suit up to five different user profiles. Two devices can also connect to the infotainment system at the same time, and the navigation system can be updated over the air, too. Inside the Jeep Wrangler, seats can be covered in cloth or leather, with premium McKinley trimmed seats available on the four-door Sahara. Although manual seat adjustment is standard on most trims, there are 12-way power seats available that have been tested to withstand water fording. Steering wheel and front seat heating is standard on four-door Sahara, High Altitude, Rubicon X and 392 models, and can be equipped to all other trims other than the base sport model. The high altitude gets the exclusive new Mantis green interior color on the instrument panel and Napa leather seats. Major improvements that are worth noting include the fact that first and second row curtain airbags are now standard across the lineup, and forward collision warning is made standard from the Sport S and up, as is advanced cruise control. The Rubicon X, high altitude, and Rubicon 392 get an integrated off-road camera from the factory floor. A new feature for 2024 is the Trails Off-Road Guide, which provides information, hints, and guidance on 62 Jeep Badge of Honor trails, including the Rubicon Trail in California, Hell's Revenge in Utah, and the Jericho Mountain in New Hampshire. It will only be made available later in the new year, however. Cargo space for the Jeep Wrangler comes in at a minimum of 31.7 cubic feet while maxing out at 72.4 cubic feet with the back row folded down. These figures may differ depending on body configuration, but in either case, it'll be enough to carry the necessary off-roading supplies and some camping gear for a couple of adventurers. Small item storage isn't ample, but it'll do, the core focus of the Wrangler is fun and adventure, not sublime comfort.